Okay, we're going after the next companion. I think this might be the last. I'm not 100% sure on that, that, but it's certainly the last I'm gonna go after now. And I'm not going to go after anyone else, even if they are, if there, there are any, unless we run out of our current companions. I was already thinking of not going after this one because I know it's cool and I don't work up too well with ghouls. We'll see what happens. I might not do this. I might not want to take him into the hotel with me. Or the casino. So I was wondering is there any real point in me trying to get him. But we are in need of uh, more equipment, more weapons, more armor even, so. The easiest way to get there would probably be through the Hidden Valley and sort of sneak into the back. There's a reason I, I, I not even really considered it earlier, and it, it's because, well, you'll see. Well, I guess I can explain a little bit. You might not really realize what's going on in Black Mountain if you go through the back, back way. You can easily sort of uh, put an end to the situation without realizing what you were really getting into. Um, and uh, I, I don't like that. Black Mountain Radio. I don't usually like playing the radio because it uh, causes copyright infringements, but it potentially. So if suddenly there are sound problems in the video, that's and no radio heard, that's the reason. But I feel it's important with the Black Mountain. Because it's a broadcasting center for radio, so I think we should listen to it at least a little bit. I just wish the, it wasn't music that they were playing at the moment. Let's close. Dog, this is gonna be a really, really bad time for you. Try not to die. One, two, three, four, yeah. This is terrible. I don't want to risk Rex at this point, so I, I think I'll go to the Hidden Valley and try to sneak through the front. Welcome back, Utopatha. I have with me best friend Tabitha, who has 
has something important she'd like to share. Well, Rhonda, I'm a little concerned about the number of humans that keep coming to Black Mountain. Humans? Here? Oh, why do you think they do that? Honestly, I think they're a little jealous of the ideal society we've built here, Rhonda, and I can't blame them. We have everything we need here. Food, shelter, safety, entertainment. It really is a paradise. There's no arguing with the truth, is there? But humans need to be aware that Black Mountain is no place for them. In fact, it's even dangerous for them here. <gasps> Why is that? First of all, there's the radiation. That warm, peaceful glow that we all know and love doesn't have the same effect on humans. You see, humans are weak and have an inherent defect that causes them to fall apart when exposed to radiation. That sounds terrible. How do they stand it? Radiation is found everywhere. I know. They truly have a hard lot in life, which may explain why they're so irritable all the time. I don't know about you, Utopatha, but my eyes have really been opened. We'll be back after some music. And that's really the... Really what the Black Mountain Radio is all about. It's, a. Uh, group of super mutants living there and they're broadcasting propaganda yeah wreck should be fine against these or bar bark scorpions for crying out loud Yeah, he's fine. He's full, at full health again. Okay, I figured out that this is the definitely the best way. We don't have to go to the back way, we can just sort of uh, try to sneak through there. We might encounter a claw, a death claw if, but we might not. So, it's a much better gamble than trying to force our way through four death claws. I, I think this will work just fine. Although I, I don't want to go there during night, so... <laughs> okay, I think we we were just fine. Neil Shack. This is a good Neil. Neil is a good reason to come through this way. You can't bypass him if you come through here. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. Hmm. What makes this a dangerous place? You must have heard her radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain. 
or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Hey, let's you and me, you know, us. Let's overthrow Tabitha, Tabitha together. Hmm. Well, your enthusiasm is admirable. I think I'd best stay here so I can warn other travelers. Hmm. Uh, seem friendly for a mutant. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? Uh, sorry about that. No offense intended. And none taken, since you apologized. Hmm. What sort of trouble should I expect if I head up? The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. There are three blockades plus patrols. Sneaking past them would be... difficult. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound. Heavily guarded by her Nightkin. Tell me about the Nightkin. The Nightkin are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them coming. Most don't. They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. You do well to avoid the mountain at night. Yeah. Um, uh, how did Tabitha end up in control? For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second generation mutants. Marcus welcomed everyone. That was his mistake. The community ended up being mostly second gen, not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second gens thinking she was some kind of prophet, and that she should be broadcasting her truth, not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. You say Marcus smashed the radio. Not very well, apparently. <laughs> There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raoul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Hmm. So why are you here instead of Jacob's son? Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. Uh, this would be, a. Uh... Very likely place for someone to stumble and get information about Jacob's son and the location. So, thanks for the warning. Yes, I hear that sometimes, and then I never see the people who said it again. Yeah, that's my experience too. Uh, I said I can take care of myself. So, every time I usually heard that, hear that in anywhere, it's usually from people who are really badly equipped to take care of people. People who know how to take care of themselves usually don't say that. Now the question becomes, do we try to do the infiltration route or do we want to blast our way through? Unfortunately for Rex, uh, I'm thinking of just blasting my way through. That's gonna be one fun for you, Rex. It's gonna be fun for me, and that's the important thing. There might be still the super mutants here and there, so we have to keep our eye out.
Ooh, assault rifles. I like machine gun. Holy crap. Probably it's very valuable. Super slaves, the most useless weapon ever made. Mm. I'll take the meat. I'm gonna be hungry after this anyway. Let's go. Good boy. That's what I was talking about. Hmm, killed me. Anywhere where you have a place like this where someone might be behind you, it's better to just take it out. You have to be careful. This seems like some kind of marker position. Mm, traps there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to go there. It's neutral there. Ah, it's you. I just did to you. Sorry, Rex. Falling rocks. Hmm, have to be careful. I guess that's one barricade down. I'm sure there are not in here somewhere. Twenty free war money. Mm, that would be one of the places you can enter here. From the crater. This wouldn't be too bad of a place. You can even get on the top, I think, but that requires a high locking, lock picking skill. And we might as well go through the old, old way here. We already started, so let's do it. Shooting at my dog. Mm, we are getting light machine guns at least. It's not a weapon I want for Cassidy, but you can get some money out of them. 
No, it's fairly weak. It's, you'd have to get uh, pretty accurate shots with that too. Oh, it's a significant danger. Ah, oh, lovely radiation. We could go up there too. So if you're a sneak, sneaky guy, you can bypass most of the patrols. Holy crap. Yeah, the weapon is to place hammer simply want to once again the cyber dog. So our saving grace here is pretty much that the enemy has pretty weak weaponry as of at least so far. We can't really rely on that continuing though, so uh, They can't all be having normal sledgehammers or, or, or super sledges. Terrible, terrible weapon. Not all that powerful and very, very slow. That's the bigger problem. Very easy to avoid getting hit too, so... Simply a terrible weapon. Uh, I guess this explains the radiation. Direct hits from missile. Where is the target? Inside there, I suppose. It uh, looks like a house made out of a fallen dish. Oh, there it is. Well, hello there. Yeah, super sledge. Terrible weapon. Still managed to get a few hits on Rex, but it, it doesn't take too much damage from that. So we don't have to worry too much. Rushing water. Uh, I don't want to waste my water on this yet. Could make a couple. Plus 50% attack speed. That's a huge potential damage increase. Not with a pistol though. The clip size is too too small. I'm assuming it means rate of fire, but it also could mean just for melee weapons or unarmed weapons, I don't know. Ah, the speaker, so I can turn that off. They're playing the radio here. Four hundred bubble caps. I think that's the largest single bubble cap. Stash I've ever seen. Uh, I don't really get it. 
Uh, three eighty. Almost a thousand caps in, in caps. Usually, when you find a place like this, it, I mean a power cap stash, it's something like less than two hundred, and it's supposed to be a great treasure. So the final stretch. And oh there it is. Now they have terrible weapons, but still. Ah, I can see even these guys are food. Yeah. The worst possible weapon they could have. That's a uh, Mr. Missile Launcher right there. Uh, that's a that's a bigger problem. Um, there are also night king walking around. Uh, I need to take care of him fast. Okay. We'll try to key shoot him with a missile, then finish him off with a pistol. Uh, he's dead. Mini gun. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? No. Good to get, him, uh, get a missile launcher. This was his ult already below half health, so we can just use that one to repair this one. That's the broadcasting center. What is it? Well, three buildings anyway. Radio transmitter control panel. Uh -huh. Ah, it's a peak launcher. I'm not gonna complain about that. This time. This time I'm gonna test our unique launcher before I'm going to... It, yeah, it basically seems like it's a fully upgraded model already. It has some markings there. And a bit. Just need to sh see that it fires. It fires like a missile launcher. Yeah, it does. So, wait seven point five. Wait ten. So it's a uh, damage. We have seventy nine, three sixty eight. 106 over 80, so yeah, much better. I'm going to repair Annabelle with, with this one. How expensive is it? 
2800 yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Much better to just sell it off. With the power of the Brahmin stake, we should be able to pull everything out of here. I think I need to get rid of some radiation while we're at it. I, I don't understand what the radio transmitter control panel thing here is. Yeah, it's something we can do. I'm switching those dish alignments. Uh, I'm going to load. Because I, I, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. And it seems like one way vote. We'll leave things there for now. Prison building. Hermes Communications Incorporated Black Mountain Submatrix System Online Entry 1 As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fix up several old terminals that were left over in the intact buildings here. I wonder if she's planning to use them for what she's planning to use them for. Apparently the mutants raided a caravan today. One of their rifles jammed. It took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled the switch there and taken this accursed station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon afterward, but it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. The mutant with the scar across the face whom I have taken to calling Cuddles, stopped in today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that's outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. Tried to escape today. Tabitha had one of her men beat me senseless when they caught me. Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fix a toaster. Cuddles came in about his car, car again. He even brought a container of gas and asked if that would help. I tried to tell him that gas was not the problem, but he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him herself before things got too ugly. At least I don't have to hear about his damn car anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. She's insisted that I change the lock on my door to require a password. Using one of the other computers I fixed, I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. Password is 12345678. Like anyone who cares will ever read this. Um, I'm not sure I want to let him go at the moment, because this place isn't cleared yet, yet so it's really dangerous for an unarmored person to be here. Took you long enough, so can I go now? What do you mean, took me long enough? Sorry, I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell 
is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? Who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Well, that's your chance to say Miguel. Probably because they just pick it up. Really? <sighs> no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that. Huh? Why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Hmm. Uh, I I don't like that. I I can't say no. I'm trying to go through the options to see if I have the option. Can you repair some of my stuff. Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Repair skill one hundred. Repair all forty five thousand. Yeah, the repairing is not worth. Anything way too expensive. Oh, okay. That was uh that was an option. Mm -hmm. We will talk to him after we've done everything. At least secured all the outside areas. Mm -hmm. A hard lock. If you have luck picking, you can bypass a lot of trouble. And I still think any of these type of games, I mean, ah, oh, there are more of them. Bethesda games. Luck picking is probably one of the better skills to take, at least in here where it, uh, it's a uh, hard barrier to accessing these places. In games where it just makes the lockpicking easier, it's pretty much worthless. But that might be me talking because I've played so many of these, so... I broadcast it. Uh, the lockpicking thing is, is so trivially easy that it requires no character skill at all to succeed. I can think of a single simple change that would uh, change that loop entirely. Make it so that you have a single attempt. Uh, I don't mean the lock jamming, I mean the, mm, the successful unlocking to switching places when the bobby bean snaps. At that point it would be even if it is possible to lockpick the harder locks with lesser skill, it would spend up so many uh, bobby pins that it wouldn't be worth it. You would want to raise the skill anyway, just to be able to keep lockpicking. But now that the uh, solution doesn't change places, it's fairly easy on all skill levels. Here it doesn't really matter because in this game it's a hard limit so I, I can't even try if I don't have the skill so it doesn't matter. I guess we'll better read the note. Treasure hunt. To whom it may concern, you. We got some pretty good stuff from the last raid, and unlike last time, I don't want any incidents. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any items you can find. Stuff I hid. One missile launcher. Three missiles. Three bricks of C4. 
5 frag grenades, 1 super steam packs, previous ammo, your be benevolent supreme overlord. Requires a key. Another treasure hunt. Super rights. Starball caps. Ah. <gasps> Should be closer to forty at this point. C4 C C4 Another key chest Missile So uh, I don't want your goddamn garden gnomes. the things way intact I don't know that's even more disgusting baseball bats uh, I, I don't get garden gnome just don't hit them uh, I don't fight them Creepy or disgusting in that sense, I just don't get them at all. Priest assassins. That's your thing, that's your thing. Not exactly a huge load of loot here. Surpassed in fact. I always wanted. You end up in a serious fight here. Super steam pack is really the only healing item that might keep you alive. Normal steam packs I really want. Break down some of this. Maybe we can haul everything out of here, but I don't think so. What does New Kakala Victory do? We saw a lot of hit points, action points, reduce sleep, increase need for water, <laughs> make you blind, and uh, have some radiation. 
So my minus two perception. Uh, probably should not be drinking those. Needs. Not that they're all that useful, but broken and miss a hand there. People Ooh, the missile launcher. Missile. Uh, I guess wolves has had to repair some of that. Light machine guns. Alright, that should get our way down to something that we can buff and get it high enough to be able to move normally again. I think we found something like two, three C4s. Took the note, didn't I? Uh, I really, there were four of them. Uh, I'm not too keen on finding every piece though. No, three bricks. Yeah, we got everything in front of them. So, where's the Broken Mr. Handy. A robot lies inert on the table, being no indication of having worked recently or ever. A nameplate on part of the surface is scratched and mostly faded, but you can still make out the faint word Ronda. Check the robot circuitry. You quickly ascertain that the robot's current AI state is set to hibernate. Likely a self-defense mechanism after the unit suffered catastrophic damage. Whoever repaired it probably didn't know how to reset its AI. After flipping the right switch, the robot jumps to life. Hello! Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Oh shit. You are follow me. Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, fifty-two days, forty minutes, and thirteen seconds since I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. This would go bad. I think we need the plus ammunition for this. And I think I need to repair this goddamn weapon soon. It's in very, very bad condition. Uh, no, we don't want to use that for repairs. And it's... <gasps> Rhonda? Is that you? It is, Mistress Tabitha. How I've missed you so. This stranger here fixed me up right as rain. Is she a friend of yours? I don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. Fix us equipment key. Uh, what will you do now? I don't know. It's been so long since I lost Rhonda that I'm not sure. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Yes, Rhonda. 
up. Okay. Um, I have no idea what's happened there. So, she just walked away. Hopefully these will explain things. Okay, logs. We've been pick picking up a lot of activity from China satellite network. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of those vaults for himself and his family. And when he didn't show up work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Oh my god. It's actually happening. We have readings across the boards of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had, and it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can, I can barely type. Mountain shields us from the worst of blasts, but there's too much radiation. Wow, I can't believe that these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible and the radiation should keep the majority of people away. Looks like we've found a home, at, at least for now. First things first though, we've got to get these corpses out of here, poor bastards. This is uh, Marcus's log now. Marcus made me type this. The leader of this com community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off of Randa. He also said I might find something interesting inside this stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works in here is this junky old terminal. It's a radio station. It's amazing! This place is a radio station! If we can get it repaired, we can broadcast music across the ways, just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, oh, Rhonda, I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all of the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you, which makes me doubt they can fix this place. On air. The radio station is fixed, and we've begun sending our message out into the desert. Marcus thinks I spent too much time in here, but what does a first gen know? Ronda says they're just one step up from dumb dumbs, and I agree. The elite. There was a fight in the yard today between some of us and the first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together. Why should we? We were the master's favorites. We don't need their help. Ronda says we'd be better off without them. Alone at last. Marcus and the others left today. Finally, we have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and can't say on the air. The airways will be free. Now Rhonda and I can host our own radio show like we've been planning. I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. He always started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Randa says he was afraid she was too smart to control. So, schizophrenia started to kick in. 
Anyway, this is the start of a new era. The only downside is most of the dum dums to stay. Let's see. I finally got roll to finish installing the security measures on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want, just in case I have a dum dum moment. I have placed the spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, so it should be safe from discovery. Lucky! Great news! Google entered our camp today, who, was exper who has experience fixing machines. He seems to really like it here, so I hope he can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird. Rhonda just asked me why she would need fixing. He has a point. What was I thinking? So, I guess she got some of her senses back when the actual Vonda reappeared. In, yeah, it's it's there in plain sight, but I doubt you'll find it unless you know where to look for it. Repair note three. Raoul, Ronda made me angry, so I threw this. Now it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. Sheet music book. Ah, this would sell it. Three Magnum revolvers. Uh, I I didn't even notice picking them up. I guess I assumed they were ammunition because there were more than one of them, or something like that. Oh, that should do it. I guess I could put the light machine guns on him, he, it's not like he's going to be using them. Although that would be awesome. Okay, time for us to wrap this up. Get Raoul. And... We're still not going to be able to use the light machine gun as weaponry. So we have to buy a weapon somewhere. I think I'll going to free side might be a good thing. Or oh, west side. They are I guess the smaller equipment and weapon shops there. So one of them might have a powerful enough love. Well we could give her the pistol good pistol we have that I don't like at that. He's definitely Cassidy, he's definitely a rifle person. Or a shotgun person. A two handed gun weapon anyway. Back again? Can I go this time? Or do you have something else in mind? Uh, okay by me. Enjoy the freedom. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. Ah, subtle brawl. Yeah, actually, do you want to take along with me? Anything's better than staying here. Let's Regular go. maintenance perk. I mean, yeah, I guess a pistol. Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, so, we could use another pistol too. 
Although I don't know how I would why would I choose to go adventuring with a ghoul? Maybe in a place where it's a high radiation or that I don't expect uh, expect him to come back. Yeah, I wanted to see the perk. Regular maintenance. While Raoul is a companion, the condition of weapons and armor decays more slowly. Um, that's a good thing. We still didn't get any extra armor. So where would we get those? We need now multiple ones. At least three, well at least two, because I don't know if ghouls can wear armor. I, I assume they can. I, I don't see why they wouldn't. So three decent armors. Where the hell am I going to turn into an armor? Well, Cassidy already has her armor, so if we just can find her a weapon, we can start doing her questline. And I know I can get armors from that questline, so that should solve our little, little problem. So the main obstacle now is to get Cassidy a good weapon. I can't believe we're allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Mm. Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Anything else you want to share? Boss, usually when somebody gives you a name and nothing else, it's because that's all they want to give you. Hmm. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. Okay, how can I make best use of your skills? I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a pack Brahmin, but my knees aren't so good anymore. You must have some skills. That's nice of you to say, boss. But I'm an old man. Not much use to anybody anymore. Time was. I was a pretty good shot with a pistol. I guess I'm still half decent. These old bones aren't much use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, though. I can also do maintenance work on your stuff. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job. But I can keep your gear working longer. Lots of older people are still useful to their friends and communities. Yeah, maybe you can introduce them to me. If we find them. Because I've never met one. Anything to hold your attention, boss. Yeah, um, can I ask questions? Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is to know already? Hmm. You know anything about Mr. House? Just how old do you think I am, boss? Because I can pretty much guarantee I'm older than that. Let me tell you a story from before the Great War. Everybody knew Robert House. He was a genius, a superstar. Founded Robco at 22. Dated Hollywood starlets, the works. They say he saved Las Vegas. I was in Mexico City when the bombs dropped. Even from there, we could see houses, defensive rockets shooting down the incoming missiles. Everybody assumed he died in the war. Maybe he did. But his robots are still out there roaming the waste. And now, a Mr. House rules New Vegas. Now, maybe there's connection. Can you remember anything else about Robert House? I remember there were some weird stories about him, especially near the end. There was a tell-all in El Padiódico, 
de las arboridas by Starlet House Dated. She said they never, uh... Now don't make me spell it out, boss. Anyway, she said all he wanted to do was scan her brain and make her dress up in different outfits. Uh, I think I get what he was doing. That's the basis of the female robot AIs he's using. I don't think that's sickening. It's certainly odd, out of the norm, but there's nothing sick about it. Uh, do you really think they're the same, Mr. House? Maybe not. Maybe the new guy is just a clever raider chief with knowledge of history. Maybe he just left instructions for his robots to carry out in his name. Or maybe Robert House uploaded his brain pattern into a computer and rules to this day a godless, soulless machine guy. Maybe the whole thing's a crazy coincidence. Who knows? You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. Do you know anything about Benny? Benny, huh? Sorry, boss. Doesn't ring a bell. Then again, my brain isn't as sharp as it used to be. Anything to hold your... Questions, boss? Okay. Tell me about New Vegas. It's big, it's bright, and it's one of the biggest cities still left from before the war. Well, mostly anyway. It used to be just a curiosity. The buildings were pre-war. But it's just as full of raiders and barbarian tribes as any place else. Then Mr. House took over. Got the power turned back on. And got the tribes reformed into something civilized. And now they run his casinos for him. Question. What's your take on the NCR? They're all right, I suppose. Had a bit of a tough going there at the beginning. You know, their first town was nearly wiped out by raiders. Anyway, they got their good points and their bad. Just like a lot of the old governments from before the war. You're a veritable... What about leading? I don't really have a problem with them. People around here tend to see them as invading marauders planning to burn and pillage the countryside. But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Caesar's laws aren't nice, and their actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. But you keep me around. Yeah, about that. Anything you say, boss. So, you have a jumpsuit and a pistol. Are you going to survive any kind of serious confrontation? Keep him in as a companion for the moment. Oh, well, I should probably just send him to Lucky Thirty Eight, though. I'm going to go visit Neil Shack or whatever his name was. Yeah. Just to let him know that no point hanging around here anymore. Petro Chico. Good work, human. Maybe now this place can rest in peace. With Tabitha gone, what will happen to this place? Who knows? It might stay abandoned, get used as a base for raiders, or even become another colony for mutants. The future is not written, human, and it is foolish to squint at what cannot be seen. Uh, I don't think so. It would be foolish not to try to squint. 
So what will you do? I still have a job to do here. Some mutants may have heard Tabitha's broadcasts and are headed here even as we speak. I'll remain and direct anyone who show up toward Jacobstown, where they'll be much better off. I guess that's reasonable enough. Uh, go to yeah. Nipton might be doable with the Cassidy's crappy weapon. Where would I get a better weapon? Uh, I I don't want to go to the early game tones. Not for the weapon, at least. They likely don't have anything worthwhile. But some kind of uh, area around New Vegas could have. Other would be the trading station 188. So I think I'll go visit a few of these places. Try to see if I can get something. The only reason I'm really sort of even hesitating about the shotgun is that in the outdoors fights it's a huge waste of ammunition. They'll start attacking long before they're in shotgun range. So a rifle would be a good option in that sense. It's usable oh, with all ranges. Especially since the AI probably doesn't if I zoom with a rifle, it gets hard to aim at close ranges. I don't think the AI suffers from that problem, so... It would probably be a good choice. Do you have any? I've still got guns and ammo. Show me. Sure, no problem. Holy crap, 12.7mm pistol silencer. Uh, yeah, that would could replace my fortify automatic silence pistol. And we would have a secondary pistol, or it's a powerful pistol, so it's I shouldn't call it secondary. A powerful silence pistol after that. I'm still going to keep this one. It's not like I can easily find a replacement for it. Hmm. Okay. I guess we can dump a lot of equipment on this guy. Plastic explosives. Um, sure, a couple. We haven't been really using these, and I I can't see much use now either. Because you can't use these in a fight, and maybe you could explode some. Uh, well, if you could attack neutral parties, so initially initiate the fight. They might be very strong, but that's very, very niche use for a use for the item. Maybe I'm just not clever enough to figure out a good use for them. And that's certainly an option. Uh, 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 an option. Hmm. Uh, we'll have to see. I maybe have to think about uses for it. Maybe I can figure out something. So, anything else? Yeah, I'm selling the sheet music book. So, boys, we should have more weapons, shouldn't we? Light. Uh, yeah, I hit them to the door. That's why I don't have them.
I've still got guns and ammo. Yeah, show me. Three revolvers and light machine guns. Okay, that's a decent amount of cash right there. We can afford to buy something again. Might as well buy the 12.7mm rounds too now that we have a advanced version of the pistol. I'd be placing this one. It, it, it all depends though, because modifications sometimes alter weapons and how they work in a really nasty way. So if the depends on how the silencer looks or feels we might not use it. Where am I going to get the gun? Where the hell am I going to get the gun? <sighs> there are a couple of shops in Freeside. We can route, at least. Where we haven't really explored west side at all. There was a pawn shop we visited, but there might have been other shops. Mm, I, I think I'll just visit the. Um, Making rounds. I'll try to pick something out of there. It might not be what we exactly what we're looking for, but just enough so we can take Cassidy to a uh, trip through Nips and things like that. So anything other than the caravan shot can do really much to Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. Now, what can I do for you? Followers are looking to sell a supply deal, I don't have to do that. Would you happen to know where I could find a sex bot? <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? Uh, the Garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. But that place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Is there a holotapo or anything I'll uh, need for the sex bot? Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. <sighs> Can't you just call it a favor? I don't think so. I've got a business to run here, buddy. 50 caps is my best offer. That is just an insult to my expertise. My work is worth more than that. Um. Yeah, good to know. I might have you make one later if I can't get it myself. Just stop back and see me if you need one made. Anything else I can help you with? Thanks for st um, I didn't even think about that. I do have a fairly high science value and I can raise it to 100 if needed, so that might be enough. If there is just is an option for me to program the sex bot myself. Hello. I heard about some things you've done around town. Nice to know someone is helping out for a change. Hmm. Special items? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? No. Uh, I probably need a skill magazine. I, I mean, a speech magazine. 
all of my. Yeah, I want to see the normal equipment first. Have a look. Maybe that's good enough. I'm looking for a specific type of weapon. I'm not too keen on what what kind of type of I item list I buy the weapon from. That's also one of the good things to point out, no, uh, sort of notice. Just because you find a good weapon doesn't mean you should use it, because the a ammunition selection can turn a weaker weapon to a much better weapon in practical terms. So 12.7mm is a great pistol, but we have hollow points and normal ammunition. It has nothing else. So the 5.56 five, will probably be a good pistol too because it's a uh, armor piercing ammunition being available same with any 5mm one if you need to do armor piercing 5mm is the best, best thing normal ammunition has minus 10 armor piercing minus 25 it'll work Little Devil, 23,000 pistol, 12.7. Bonus critical chance, I guess that's the difference. I wonder if I can mark this one with the silencer. Uh, I, I doubt it pretty much. Sort of shock. Um, no. Come. Let's see if we can get access to special equipment. Or importantly, seeing what the hell it is. It might be something totally useless. Welcome back, buddy. Special items? Why? No, I don't work for the casinos. In that case, yes, I do. Follow me. Of course, there's a hidden room. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. That's a railway rifle. They actually have a railway rifle. Silence weapons. More shotguns. A ripper. Power fists. It looks like the same equipment with a few extra items. Grenade machine gun. It's pretty similar to the grenade launcher we already have, but it just has a rapid rate of fire. Not, nothing really interesting. Yeah. I am disappointed. We need something, anything really. <sighs> but if it's not, oh, West Side might be an option. Miguel's pawn shop. Yeah, let's go directly into West Side so we don't have to spend time here. The pawn shop probably doesn't have a lot of things. It's pawn shop. Here to do business? Yep. A very basic type of weaponry. Cowboy repeater. It's not good enough, but. Not but the most terrible button. Lever action shot.
Yep, nothing really bad at all. I'll quickly just go around and see if there's anything, any other shops, smithies, no. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner, son of a bitch. Yeah. Don't appear to be all the many shops, so. Uh, Liquor, yeah, that's probably not a good gun shop. Drugs. You know, they say that none of this is good news, but I think my you see, Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Yeah, it's a food store. Okay. We're going to have to buy a weapon. And since the options are re really limited, it has to be gun runners. It's a fairly expensive weapon to buy here, but we need something. Welcome, sir, or ma'am. Probably might have to buy some ammunition for the weapon to it. So Trail Carbine. That seems like uh Yeah, I'll take one of those. Then as much ammunition as we can get. And that won't be a lot. Forty-four special. Uh, yeah. Take it. Come back. Uh, we can probably make those though. What would we require for 44 Magnum pistol powder and large pistol primers? Yeah, it's using up the same ammunition that the 45 automatic is using, so it's very unlikely we can manufacture those. Go to lucky 88. What can I do for you, Juan? Lucky 38. I think I need to head on with that. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Hmm. We'll meet up at the lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. We might as well go to the Crimson Caravan, try to see if we can get more Magnum 44 ammunition. We don't have a lot. Maybe we have something in storage. That's a bean. At least we got some Maya. Items to sell. I wonder if I can use this. No, this armor to do repairs. It's a light armor, so it might be possible. Yeah, possible. And there's the sewers. I forgot about them all altogether. A leaper action shot. Oh, 
hopefully they have at least a little. We have something like 40 shots, maybe. That's not a lot of fighting. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? The ammunition also isn't that common to be found, so... Okay, 25. It's not a lot. It'll help. Mm. Uh, I guess we could have upgraded hunting rifle too, but not quite the same thing. Yeah, I, I think our weapon of choice was just fine. Uh, what did we get from the two guys right at the front? What did they have? Lever action shotgun and something else, laser rifle. Let's go pick cast and start doing things again. She has the armor, now she has a good enough weapon, so we should be able to at least keep her alive without going to extremes. Where to, partner? Do we have 44 ammunition? No. Crap. Okay. Pistol. Pistol. Yeah, fuck, we had the Ranger combat armor. Ah, I totally forgot about that. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that was pretty much the only thing we were missing, though. Okay. Let's modify this weapon, see where it gets us. Silence is the weapon. Well, it looks nice. And it doesn't seem to obstruct the view at all. So that's appreciated. I guess we'll just have to test it in action. This <laughs> it's a massive weapon though. But I think Cass would rule be better you know, with the uh, is it Ranger Combat Armor? Uh, I'm not sure I want to use the helmet for her. But I'm not going to leave her with the, the ridiculous hat either, so... We, we need to go hat shopping again. But yeah. In general, I'd like to see their faces somewhat. Okay, get up. Well, now look what rolled in. What you getting lonely out there? Yes, I am. Yep, I think we should travel together. Can't be any worse than here. Let's see what you got. Hey, someone else is gonna get your combat armor. 
It was a uh, desert ninja armor and a trail turbine. With 34 McMurrays. Yeah, that looks much better on her, much more fitting. The weapon. Careful as we go off the road. Looks just fine. Uh, I, I'd like to have a different type of a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat is fine, but not this cowboy hat. I think we're ready to go. 